Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Graftech Vinyl Cutter. We're going to be using it to cut some stickers uh, out of vinyl roll. You can use this machine for sheets or roll, uh, but like I said, today we'll be focusing on that roll. Using the Vinyl Cutter, we've got some example stickers here of what you can do, what's possible with this machine. Today, we're going to be making a vinyl sticker of Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. This vinyl cutter utilizes a head with a drag knife that raises and lowers depending on where you're actually going to be cutting. Uh, it also has two feed rollers that are going to pull and push our material through the machine as it's actually cutting. That said, let's get it loaded up. We're going to be loading up black vinyl onto our roll. So I'll put it onto the spools and feed it into the machine. I'm going to be checking for two things while I load this into the machine. First is that I'm under both of these guide wheels and that the edge of my sheet is parallel to the ridges in this black tray. Once those are done, I can lift up on the roller and press one to home it. I'll push this down, the machine says it's ready to go, and now we can go work on our design. I've opened up our image in Corel Draw. I picked it up from our friends at flaticon.com. This image is already a vector, so I don't need to manipulate it anymore, except to set the size. Here, I'll adjust it to five inches tall. Once our design is ready, we can send it to the vinyl cutter using the application Cutting Master 4. Here, we are opened up. We can see the actual interface where on the right hand side, uh, that's our vinyl roll. So it's a preview of what we're gonna be printing, what we'll actually be looking at. A few key things to note here. I can adjust the orientation of my job. Uh, sometimes it's better to print things flat as opposed to upright. Uh, next, I can change the number of copies that are going to be printed. Once we're ready to go, I can go ahead and hit send, and it'll send our file to the vinyl cutter. Safety on this machine is really important. When it's cutting, this head is going to move at a very high rate of speed. That means if you have any long jewelry, necklaces, long sleeves, they should all be pushed up and kept out of the way while the machine is actually cutting. Uh, the most important thing is while it's actually cutting, just get out of the way and let it do its job. Our design is now finished. I'm gonna lower the lock lever in order to pull the vinyl roll through, and now I'm gonna cut it off of this spool. Now, we can take it for our post-processing. I'm gonna start off by separating my design to make it a little easier to handle and work with. Put that over there. I'm gonna remove the waste vinyl using this craft knife in a process we call weeding. There I've got my finished design, and now I can apply the transfer paper in order to put it onto whatever object we actually want. I'll roll out a small section of it, apply the design, cut it off using the knife. And now I can flip the design over and burnish it using our burnisher. Now we're ready to apply it to whatever we want. And get it up. Now I'm ready to apply the vinyl sticker to my notebook. So I'm going to turn it upside down, peel off the paper backing at a nice sharp angle. And right now that vinyl is sticky side up. So whatever I apply it to, it's going to stick to it. Put it right there. I'm going to burnish it again. And I'll peel back at a sharp angle in order to get it and now we've got our fully transferred vinyl sticker.